Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. So we're looking at two new scopes from MTC Optics today. They are the SWAT Prismatic Scopes. So as you can see, you've got the larger one on this side being their 12 by 50, and their smaller one on this side being their 10 by 30. So obviously being a 12 by and a 10 by, they are both fixed. Uh, so we'll start with the 10 by 30. So it's built with a 34 mil tube. Now it does mean you're gonna either be stuck with the amounts they provide you, which aren't a bad thing because of the amount of capability they've got, Hopefully you can see that on that camera. You've got a grid here, which has got 72 one end, right the way through to zero, and 72 to the other. It's an MOA adjustable mount. So as you loosen that and move it forwards or back, it does help you set up your optical zero. So you can be closer to the center of the adjustment at your given range. This also means that if you've got an FAC PCP air rifle and you want to push the distance of it and you find you're running out of clicks, you just adjust it back That'll give you a load more MOA in it and be able to push the distance out further. Obviously, I do say PCP air rifle because you can see in the back here, it does come with a warning not to fit it to recoiling rifles, recoilless only. And that's because of the nature of the very, very short eye relief. If, so if you do decide that you want to ignore that and put on a spring gun or some sort of sensor fire, yeah, it's not going to end well for it, to be honest. But as we know, it's designed for PCP. And in conjunction with day states, they're probably going to go quite well with that, bearing in mind that they are very, very close natured companies. So the 10 to 30, I would probably say for HFT, would be the better one to go for than the 12 to 50. The reason why, one, you've got that 10 mag, which is obviously slightly lower, wider field of view, but the 30 mil objective on it means that your depth of field is a lot greater, meaning you can see down a lot closer and hopefully out to that maximum 45, that bit clearer and hopefully see where your pellet lands each time. Obviously, as you can see, turrets on the outside, they are both locking on these ones. So pull up, push down, and the illumination this side here. And you've got your side focus there. In the box comes with two strips, so you can set where it's going to be. Obviously, everybody's different with their eyes and how you set the scope up. Set the parallax to your minimum focusing distance. On this one should be six meters. I'd set it to there. When that's clear at six meters, then you can put your um, yardage tape on there and it should ring fairly true for the rest of that as you go through. So we're gonna move on to the 12 to 50 now. So obviously, as you can see, it is a lot larger than that one. It's a little bit heavier, but it's still very similar in what it does. Obviously it's 12 mag, the 50 mil objective will let that little bit more light in, but it'll also mean your depth of field isn't quite so great. So that's why I say that one's more suited for HFT. This one will suit you more for your general hunting needs and as I say, low light capability, this one's gonna be very slightly better. So as you can see, we've also got an range of mounts in the front here. So you've got your short ones that come as standard onto here. You've got your ultra short and your longer uh, rail there. Obviously this just depends on what rifle you're fitting it to and how long you have of rail to mount it. You may be lucky and you may already have a Picatinny or Weaver rail fitted currently to your air rifle. This will go straight onto it. Obviously if that's not the case, you need to decide where you're mounting it. Obviously, let's say for example, Air Arms S400-500 series, or your day state, any of the day states when you use the magazine, you've got a short section of rail on the back. So you're gonna be looking at either the mount it comes with, or going to your shorter one, depending on where you need your eye relief set. Obviously, if you're not mounting it on that, that's when this longer one comes in better, and obviously it will clamp more securely. If you're not fortunate enough to have a Weaver or Picatinny rail, they supply you with two adapters here, which are very, very similar to the UTG ones that we have as a very popular item in the shop. They sell really well. They clamp onto your dovetail, and all it does is clamp on the way the Picatinny would normally. So they're low profile, slim line, and they do work very, very well. And it just makes the pole package that a little bit nicer to use and not up out the way on the high rise dovetail Picatinny rails. So that sums up the new MTC prismatic scopes. Anything you'd like to know, please let us know. Give us an email, call, or drop us a message. Thanks for watching.